Hi guys and welcome. If you're looking for build a professional landing page that will be efficient and cool looking and modern, definitely you need to use this platform that I'm going to talk about today because this is very user friendly, this is easy and this is absolutely convenient to build everything that you want to build. So before I've started to provide you with a step by step tutorial of how to make your own web page, your landing page. Uh, definitely I need to say that our team left the link in the description panel of this video so you can easily get that link and get access to this lead pages platform with a big discount from our team to all our subscribers and our friends. So join and I'm not wait wasting your time. I'll try to make this video as short as possible and with a maximum value for you. And in the end of this video, you will get an idea of how to build your own landing page. So let's jump to business. When you're going to be on the platform, you need to press the create new landing page. And in this case, you will see all those fantastic templates that already build for uh, for any purpose that you want literally you can sort it by page type you can uh, like choose anything that you want like sales lead capture free resource and download industry of course author automotive education entertainment and travel financial and legal and so on and so on and you actually can uh, choose anything that you want like for example real estate uh, and let's just choose any template and start building it and I'm gonna show you how you can manage all the things fast easy and without an extra efforts first of all you need to give your page a name uh, to see it in the list okay we're in the editor I will provide you with all the things that you need to know like it's back how's this is name of your site uh, lead matters interesting widget that shows the excellence and uh, how your page will convert this is very important undo redo buttons preview all the web pages that build in this platform are absolutely mobile friendly so you can open it with uh, with any type of device and it will look fantastic on each of them layout let's jump to layout this is the first button and here you go you have the sections uh, of your page this header hero and footer straight from here uh, you can delete duplicate or make it visible or invisible when you press in on this small arrow you see what lays under the uh, under this layout there are row and column you see all this here and you can add row or column straight from here uh, of course you can add a section and this is the same uh, what you see here uh, just to show you there's about pre-made things call to action contact us FAQs features and services hero logos plies, plans and pricing testimonials text and image text blocks and blank things that you can add to your layout for example like that you can select this one or you can just grab it drag and drop to all these blue boxes that you see and it will appear instantly uh, on this spot just for example i will show you how to how to manage all that okay we jump in next uh widgets those are all things and all elements that you can add to your layout you can add to your web page uh, for just for instance you grab in this and you drop in this right here image the same text and image the same uh, line and spacer this is elements that you can that you can use to you see this small line you can use to divide things you can use it to make things beautiful one more line for example yeah and all those things you can shape the line and so on and so on I'm gonna delete this section and I'm gonna delete this section also 
when you jump in back to layout you see that you have a blank uh, this section that we added just seconds ago and it's not on the spot for example the footer should be in the end of the page and you just grab it and replacing the order and and that's pretty easy and understandable nothing special with that styles here in the styles you can change the font styles i'll scroll it up for example if you have couple headings and couple text um, simple text sections in your entire page you can change them straight from here with just couple clicks for all of the uh, text sections and this is very handy if you have a big uh, big layout if you have like couple sections 5 10 and you have a lot of content um, like texts and headings you can change them instantly in the, within the seconds i'll show you you see that there's a page background is not the background of the section how to edit this thing if you pressing this three buttons three dots button you have added section settings add section buffer below i showed you how to do that duplicate copy or delete let's go edit section settings you see the color you can add an image you can change the size of this section it's pretty uh, it's not pretty visible here let's apply some color okay we have this red one uh, the same as with the button and in this shape it's more visible so you can make it really big and you can use this this tool to make the size of your sections different uh, and that's pretty cool and amazing i don't like this color so i will delete it or you can add an image but where to find the background of entire page you go into styles and you see the page background you see this picture and the shape of this picture is not the same you see that there is some kind of filter here and how to apply that here you go image color overlay and you see that there's half transparent blue uh, with a 70 percent of opacity and that's pretty cool but i want to change an image to my own for example it's real estate company be the first to know searching for a new home in the any city that you want uh, okay i will show you the how to edit the text this is pretty simple just double click on this and you choose in the type the font that we uh, changed in the styles also you can edit the size you can use the spacing you can make it bigger you can make it huge with the jambo yeah this looks great you can change the color you can add your custom color for example or just any color that you want you see it's not pretty visible so we're gonna make it white back but you get an idea you see there's a line this when you're hovering on the template that already pre-built definitely you will find such line and you can grab it and you see that text is changing itself when we gotta jump to layout here you see the hero section when you press in this button you see that there's a column one and column two i don't need this column here so i will delete this column and text became big itself so when you double click on it you can reshape it to any uh to any shape that you want i want it to be standard for example and here's the button here's the interesting thing and uh one of the most important one one of the most important things that you can uh, apply on this but let's change the background image 
and I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell you how you can do this you can use the your uploaded images that you uploaded to the platform uh, previously for your uh, previous projects you can buy uh, the pictures from the stock high quality pictures no, it's about eight bucks as you can see eight, eight bucks per picture is not cheap but it's not um, expensive actually but if you don't have your own content you can use this feature and this is pretty cool or you can select and upload a file from your computer and that's what I'm gonna do okay the pictures here I'm just changed the picture you see it's it's pretty cool I don't like this image color overlay but we need to apply some I'm gonna add new one I want it to be some kind of gray yeah like that and that's pretty cool let's get back to button because this is very important thing and I want to show it to you uh, by double click you can change the text by just clicking on it you have the style button you have the font button you have the color let's change the style to show you how you can do that you can use full width or not you can make it medium small or large it can be left right or in the center square rounded and here you can change the shape of the corners it can be flat it can be line or it can be gradient um, I like to use the flat or line it looks cool but I don't like this color I want to change it to some to some catchy yeah that can be that can be nice and we definitely need to change the tax color let it be black for this and that looks great square yeah that looks modern but if you have to uh, make it more uh, more to date you can use the line you see it's transparent and when you're hovering over it it changes the color and I like this shape very much for example uh, the button is very close to the text what I'm doing I'm going to widgets I'm using the spacer and I'm changing the shape of it and that's it actually I don't need it but just to show you how you can do that the most important thing edit click event what's gonna happen when somebody will press the button the style of the button uh, actually not so important as the click event you can open a calendar pop-up jump to page section link to landing page or to external page and let's edit the pop-up okay you see all those things here uh, I don't like the color of this button I will change it to uh, this one text also doesn't matter actually but uh, you can edit section settings pop-up form column row section style you can change the color for it now, if you want but actually it's okay in this shape but most important part is this form when you press on edit integrations you see integrations fields and actions uh, how you gonna get new uh, leads you're gonna get new leads to your email box or you can add an integration and external services of email marketing uh, email marketing providers active campaign convert Kate MailChimp get response uh, go to webinar and so on and so on and this is very and very useful tools uh, if you don't know nothing about those you probably need to find out more or you can integrate it with a Zapier which is also very fantastic tool and very powerful and you can make uh, fantastic and really magic things with that so find out more and uh, choose what's used to you best fields first name and email is pretty enough uh, to uh, to apply to your site but you can add some extra fields and postal code state common city phone number maybe you need the email and phone number no, we don't need it in this case 
and actions what's going to be when somebody will um, make that action will fulfill these fields and will send it to you uh, he's going to be mm, on the page it can be external url landing page or default lead pages thank you page or you can build an extra thank you page with your brand colors with uh, some extra text uh, like or you can make up sales or cross sales it's a little bit about in internet marketing yeah and sales uh, via the funnel or if you have some lead magnet for example checklist and PDF and so on you can add it right here uh, and your visitors mm, will get it mm, to exchange their uh, their contacts so actually the main purpose of any landing page is to get the contact from your visitors mm, for exchange to some value that you bring in to uh, to your customers to your visitors and that's pretty it it sounds simple not so simple to uh, to make but actually it is simple and if you have a business if you bring in some value already definitely you will figure out how to do that and I showed you in this video how you can manage things how you can uh, move things around and uh, definitely I hope that this all sounds um, proper for you this all makes sense for you and I hope this was useful I showed you core knowledges except the settings uh, let's talk about settings a little bit SEO definitely you need your web page to be visible to uh, search engine machines so page title page description and keywords social you can upload here an image that will be appeared in the social media like Facebook or Pinterest if you sharing your link to your website uh, in those and analytics Google Analytics tracking ID uh, Facebook pixel you can apply all this here and when you're ready to go live you just pressing publish and follow the uh, follow the list of uh, necessary actions that's pretty it guys I hope you enjoyed I hope this was useful because mm, uh, I tried to make it very valuable and very short video and now you probably get an idea of how to build it by yourself because it's really really user-friendly it's really really easy it's drag and drop uh, and you will handle it for sure thank you so much before I'll say goodbye I want to remind you that we left the link in the description panel of this video so you can easily get access to lead pages platform with a big discount for our friends for our subscribers so don't miss this opportunity and uh, save some money uh, while you're building your first or maybe not the first you know, landing page uh, via this platform thank you so much have a great day and see you in the next video bye bye